Okay, let's have us a rematch between Shaper, Kate, Mac, McCaffrey, the Digital Tinker, and the Corporation Wayland Consortium, Building a Better World. keep my hand and they install two ice and advance so we're pretty sure that ice in front of R&D is gonna be ice wall or shadow this game instead of starting with the test run magnum opus I start with the personal workshop and put a toolbox in it so you don't really need the toolbox immediately as a shaper right you need it especially in this deck where I'm getting economy from Underworld Contacts and I'm trying to save memory from Keymaster plus the two recurring credits when you start you know running bigger servers is you know indisposable but you don't need it at the beginning of the game so I was thinking hey I'll put it in this workshop and by the time I need it you know eight nine turns out it'll cost me almost nothing or in fact nothing uh, to install this so, yeah, see, a token comes off. The price has already gone down. I had a magnum opus. Oh, my God. So awesome. Right. Didn't have to test run it. And to get a card out of my hand, because uh, I had too many in my hand, I put a personal touch uh, into the workshop because I wanted to draw some more. See, I got all the great economy cards at the start. I didn't really get the icebreakers. So most of this game I end up drawing cards like crazy trying to find icebreakers. Uh, and the cards that are in my hand I really didn't want to get rid of. I had like a stim hack in there and stuff like that that you know you really don't want to throw in the trash. But you have a hand limit. So <laughs> if I start when I drawing through my deck to find icebreakers something you know either have to install or use every card I get or I gotta use something from my hand so personal workshop is a great place to dump hardware and programs to get them out of your hand so that you can dig deeper into your deck I ran HQ it was a wall of static I ran R&D I figured the chance maybe R&D was a shadow he only had one credit um, left I would have gotten in, he couldn't res Shadow or Hadrian's, but it was Ice Wall. Which is just as well, doesn't hurt. So you can see I'm drawing deep. Uh, I drew another Magnum Opus, which I didn't need, because I already have one, so I threw that out. And I threw it in Notoriety. That Ice Wall on. R&D, pretty much I gave up on the idea of notoriety, or at least more than one. Even if uh, I got a Femme Fatale for that, you know, I probably want to save Femme Fatale for Archer. That's way too expensive. You know, the, my barrier breaker is Snowball, which is strength one. See, there it is. So even there with the strength five Ice Wall, it's going to cost me five credits <laughs> to go to R&D. That's a high price. Extremely high. Scores a hostile takeover, giving the bad publicity, which lowers the price a little bit. But it's still quite expensive. Tokens keep coming off that toolbox. I'm going to get it out soon enough. So I made a similar mistake that I made in the other game of installing the snowball and then not using it on the turn I installed it. When you install a new icebreaker, you know, in especially situ one ice situations like this, the corp is sitting there with an ice, he thinks it's keeping you out. You install the icebreaker and you run with it immediately to get in before they ice up some more. See, I could have run HQ, right? There's just a wall of static there. Instead, I take a bunch of credits and use my maker's eye while the ice wall is still affordable. I get to see three cards, and it's a ghost branch. I trash it. I see I was right to be worried about those. 
Okay. Uh, Nothing I can score. Not nearly as lucky as the last game. Alright, he installs and advances twice. I'm thinking Atlas. But there's nothing I can really do about it at this point. I only have a barrier breaker. If there's a toll booth, which is pretty popular, I can't get in. If there's an archer, running there is basically suicide. I think I might just have to let him score it and then just uh, be sure that when my rig is up to run so much, he can't score anything else. So I use my special order here to go and get the dog again, the key master, because I know this enigmas, if not toll booths. See, this is a big problem here, right? You can see the way I'm playing is totally wrong, because what I'm doing is I'm, I'm just thinking about building my rig. I'm looking at my side of the table, thinking about what pieces are missing, and trying to put them together. I'm not paying nearly enough attention to what's going on, on his side of the table. I could have just taken credits and run HQ, take credits, run HQ. You know, could this only a wall of static there. You know, but meanwhile I'm still drawing cards, just concentrated on like completing this rig, but I could it's a usable rig right now. It has functions. But uh, I'm sort of playing a solitaire here, which is completely wrong. Sometimes you get just too focused on, you know, the way your machine is supposed to work. And here's the perfect example. That wasn't an atlas, it was a posted bounty. He was paying total attention to what I was doing. He tagged me. Now he's going to destroy my workshop I've been working on for five turns. And I didn't have any credits to rescue anything from it. So there you go. All those turns and clicks of work going into that toolbox. All for nothing. That's a lot of wasted resources right there. I do get a second uh, bad publicity. Big deal. I spent all that time decreasing the cost of the workshop. Toolbox. Using the workshop. Didn't get to bring it out. Had to spend a click to get two credits and a click to remove the tag. And now I'm going to run HQ. I finally re recognize that it was wide open. I see an ice in there. See, I should have been running that HQ every turn. He commercializes this really big ice wall now. Gets seven credits. All right. I'm still here thinking completely wrongly, trying to build this rig and play solitaire. Especially now that I lost my toolbox, I'm digging deep to find some more stuff. I could have taken credits and run HQ again. one click left on this turn. I end up taking two credits and throwing away a Crypsis and a Spare Keymaster. I could have used the Crypsis. Um, it just feels bad. You know, Crypsis is the kind of card I like to use, you know, when it's all alone. Like, Crypsis is the Icebreaker. But here, I mean, I could have used it as just a Sentry Breaker and started to run fearlessly. You know, forget the rest of my rig. Forget Underworld Contact. Forget Toolbox, right? Uh, I mean, the one issue, though, is, of course, I was at four memory. So even if I wanted to install the Crypsis, uh, I couldn't because I didn't have the Toolbox to give me that extra memory. I mean, even getting any card with plus link, I think there was helpful AI in this deck. So here I go again, installing Underworld Contacts to get it out of my hand to make room to draw more cards before I have the link to activate it. 
again, I should have drew cards first before installing other cards. I throw away a maker's eye. I've given up any hope of uh, scoring with that, with the giant ice wall there. I mean, if I get a fem or two, I'm still going to want to use them on Archer and not really the Ice Wall. Okay, so I drew another toolbox, and I just pay for it straight with credits. That really sucks, but, well, now I've got the memory. He's got another advanced card there. I'm always keeping my hand completely full of cards, uh, so he would absolutely need two Scorches to kill me. One is not enough. If I have the ability to keep myself at full hit points, why wouldn't I? I throw out another Notoriety. I've also given up on scoring that. See, I'm not running that remote server because I have no Sentry Breaker. He has a hostile takeover. He could res an archer, and then I, he would trash two of my programs. Uh, it would be game over, pretty much. All right, so here's where I get really dumb. I put this personal touch on the snowball, thinking that needs extra strength if I'm ever going to try to get through that giant ice wall. And in fact, I went so crazy as to modded it just to get another card out of my hand, which also saved me a credit. And then I drew a card. See, I could have drawn that card first, and then, instead of putting that personal touch, which really, in the long run, doesn't mean very much at all in the face of a strength 8 ice wall, right? I could have used that card. And you'll see in a second what that card that I just drew was. Here, he scores a posted bounty. He gives me a tag and double scorch. I'm done. And of course, the card I just drew was Plaskrete Carapace, right? If I had not done the personal touch, if I had drawn a card first before playing the other cards, I would have modded that Plaskrete into play, and I would have lived to continue playing. Instead, I lost. Right? Always, if you're going to play a card and replace it, draw first. That is the lesson here.